Good morning, friends. Good morning, family. Good morning, Faith Walkers. God bless you all in this glorious day. It is October the 11th, the 11th day of the 10th month on the Gregorian calendar. I and all with me, this area, Central Florida, we made it through Hurricane Milton. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God for his grace, for his mercy. His mercy endureth to all generations. His mercy endureth forever. And I thank and praise God for experiencing his grace, his mercies. Hallelujah. That's new every day. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, Hurricane Milton, I ended up, y'all, in Helene and in Milton. And I tell you, Milton brought a lot of harsher winds and rain and in terms of how it felt. It was a lot more intense than Helene. But I thank God that God dealt with Helene and God dealt with Milton, hallelujah. And even looking around, there are some leaning trees, some lost branches. You know, there are some trees that did fall. Um, but it, I tell you, the devastation is not in the area where I am. The devastation is not as bad as it could have been. I thank God for breaking down that hurricane and for moving it on across. I tell you, it was really intense, y'all. It was intense, but God is a protector. Hallelujah. I'm going to just show you a little bit around me. Um, I'm in the library parking lot so that I can get clear reception while I'm doing this video. It's going to be short. I will not be reading um, my, my morning devotion, but I will just share the scriptures with you all today and pray that you all would take time and read the scriptures from yesterday, which I was not able to get on. I was just trying to recover from the hurricane and, and trying to get in touch with family and figure all that out. But I just thank and praise God for today. So I will tell you at the end of this video, the scriptures from yesterday so that you can read them and the scriptures for today so that you can read those as well at your leisure. But while you are reading, God, this is one thing that I believe God wants me and all of the saints of God to understand that we have to walk in our faith. God is really elevating our faith. He's taking us through different tests, different trials, and we it is to build up our faith because when we think about Peter and we think about all that Peter had to do for the Lord and all that the saints of God ended up enduring when Jesus, once Jesus ascended on high, we see that Peter ended up in prison. Peter had to go through the great trial of not knowing if he was going to live or die. Because remember in that scripture, um, it says that they were, um, the Jews were happy that Herod had executed John. He had, I'm sorry, James, the brother of John, that Herod had executed James, the brother of John. And so because of that, he had also taken Peter and was planning to execute Peter. Because James had already been executed, James, God was done with James in his ministry, but God was not done with Peter. And so he sent the angel into the prison to tell Peter to put on his robe and to put on his sandals. And he walked Peter Peter out of the prison. Glory to God. But 
I'm saying all of that to say we end up going through many trials to trust God, many tribulation to trust Jesus, many things we have to encounter and endure because God wants to elevate us and we have to stand assured in who our God is. And I'm reminded also concerning Peter that Jesus said, Simon, Simon. Satan desires to sift you as wheat. Hallelujah. But I have prayed for you that your faith fails you not. And that is what we are striving for. That no matter what happens, no matter the things that we will encounter in this season's season and in the seasons of our life, that that God is with us and Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us that our faith fails us not. When Jesus returns, will there be faith in the earth? Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. So let God, through your circumstances, let God, through your situations, and even if you find yourself fearful in a situation, acknowledge it to God. Hallelujah. But don't let the spirit of fear sit on you. No. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear where we are fearful all the time. Fearful of this. Fearful of that. And everything that comes about in our life, we are just afraid of everything. No. That is a spirit of fear. And God has not given it to you. And you have to renounce it. And you have to move past it. you got to in increase your faith so that you will be what God has called you to be. Walking in faith above your fear and more than a conqueror. We got to go through some things to conquer these fears and inhibitions that we have. I'm reminded of King Hezekiah. And I'm reminded of the fact that, I'm sorry, King Jehoshaphat, has King Hezekiah had his issue with his body and he trusted God. He turned his face to the wall and he prayed. But I'm talking about King Jehoshaphat. That's who's coming to mind right now. And with King Jehoshaphat, y'all, hallelujah, a vast army was coming against him. And when we read these chronicle notes of these kings and these people, the people of God, we are not emotionally charged like they are were. We're not in that situation, so we cannot necessarily put our mind, body, and emotions in the place where they were. But if you just Try to put yourself, sit down in meditation and, and think about the intensity. Their lives were at stake and, and, and they were concerned about our army is not big enough to, to fight and win against all these myriads of people who are armed against us. us hallelujah. But God, they consult God. We have to always seek God and we have to always listen to his instructions. And God's instructions are not going to always make sense with what we're seeing, with what we're hearing, with our emotions and what we are feeling. But we have to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God was telling King Jehoshaphat, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That means that you can't run. We have a fight or flight mechanism, but he was saying, no, don't you run. Hallelujah and steal yourself. Standing still means stand still in your faith, in your mind. Stand still in your emotions. Tell your emotions peace. Be still. Hallelujah. And, and, and he had to stay put. And not only that, glory to God, he had to put on a a face of strength for all of those following him. Hallelujah. So you have to stand still. You have to stand firm in God. We have to know that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the 
faith that worketh in us. And so we got to have our faith on. We got to activate our faith. We got to have our shield of faith. We got to trust in God. We got to know that the name of Jesus is really the name and that Jesus has left power to the church and to the people and that Jesus is making intercession for us and he sits at the right hand of the Father and that Jesus is our protector. God the Father, hallelujah, is is the most high God. He is the all-powerful God. He is the true and the living God, and there is no other God like him. So, friends, family, and faith walkers, that's our exhortation for today. We got to trust God and go through, hallelujah. And I thank and praise God for elevating my faith, for building up, building me up in his most holy faith. Doesn't mean that you are not shaken, but I'm going to tell you something. We got to shut down the other voices. We got to know, okay, this is happening. This is coming. This is projected, Hallelujah. But we got to pray. Okay, God, put me in this, the ark of safety, God. Cover me and mine, God. Cover the, the territory, God, the region. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, steady us, oh God. Let us cry out. Show your mighty hand. Hallelujah. And let you get the praise, God, where everybody else was saying one thing, Lord God, show yourself mighty, hallelujah, and God gets the praise, God gets the honor, God gets the glory, because it is him, it is his mighty hand that broke that so-called category five down to a three, so that we could sustain it, and he didn't pour down too much rain, where we were just, we were just flooded out, to high, high levels. Yes, there was some flooding to homes and things like that. There was some, but the damage that could have been done, hallelujah, God stayed his hand. He, he pushed things back. And I thank God that the multitude of us here, glory to God, made it through safely. And I thank and praise God. I've been meeting other believers, friends, family, and faith walkers that could not leave either. I've met this lady right in the same parking lot yesterday. And she was saying she was trying to get internet service so she can call, use her phone to call her family members to let them know she was okay. And her phone wouldn't even work here. So I let her use my phone. But in the interim, because I, was, I said she was asking me how was I getting my phone to work, but her still wouldn't work. But we got into a conversation and she was able to testify of the goodness of God. She was saying how she didn't have help to get her shutters up on her house. And she was there alone. And she was. She said she went into her bathroom because the wind was howling. And I'm telling you, friends, family, and faith walkers, it was something else to be here. But the wind was howling. She went into her bathroom and she was praying and praising the whole time. Glory to the Lamb of God. And she was saying how she, all of a sudden, even though she was in her bathroom, she felt the wind of God on her right shoulder and coming down her right side. Her paraclete, hallelujah. Her helper came, hallelujah. Jesus was confirming to her that I am with you, daughter. And, he, and she made it through as well. So there were a lot of believers. There were a lot of people here who could not scatter, who could not leave for various reasons. And we thank and praise God for the hand of God moving over this region. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And sparing our lives. We're here today to testify of the goodness of God. Another day that the Lord has let us occupy so that we can influence, impact, and impart his word into someone else's life. God bless you, friend, friends, family, and faith walkers. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be a great day. Oh, yes, it is. It already is. Another day that the Lord has made. Our scriptures from October 10th, yesterday, October 10th, are Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 1, 11. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 11 through chapter 16, verse 15. And our New Testament scripture for October 10th, that was yesterday, is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 through chapter 3, verse 13. 
And our, our psalm from October 10th is Psalm 80, verses 1 through 19. And our proverb is Proverbs 25, verse 1 through 5. That was for October 10th. And for today, October 11th, 10, 11, it's Jeremiah 16, 16 through 18, 23. That's Jeremiah 16, 16 through 18, 23. And our New Testament scripture, hallelujah, is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1 through chapter 5, verse 3. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1 through chapter 5, verse 3. And our psalm is Psalm 81. 1 through 16. That's Psalm 81, 1 through 16. And our proverb for today is Proverbs 25, 6 through 7. Proverbs 25, 6 through 7. God bless you all, friends, family, and faith walkers on this glorious day. Until the next time, God bless you. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be a great day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you believe it? I believe it. God bless you all. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and to visit my Etsy shop at God Sip Tico. That's Etsy, E T S Y dot com. And when you log into Etsy, then place in the search engine God Sip Tico as one word. That's G O D S I P T E A C O. God bless you. Bye bye.